And I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart, everyone. Cheers. We had 50 people on tour and the vast majority were totally committed to the tour and gave it their best shot. One or two didn't, which was disappointing. I actually wanted to play for the shirt more than I did for him. It's ours tonight, we own that pitch. We're main possessed. Oh, McRae's got to go. He's got to go. That is terrible. I thought it was, you know, the end of my tour due to my own stupidity. Today is about putting another layer of Lions history on the table. I call out the number off and then you'll call your numbers out and I can tell me who's missing if anybody. In. 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 It's all about power. Oh, nothing went right. Just get a nice relaxing position. Just take your clothes off and then put them in the corner. Do a bit of a side mine. Then it can just like this. And all I want you to do now is practice for two minutes. Focusing in on what we've done so far. Two, three minutes. What we've done so far. What you feel your contribution's been. How much you're enjoying it. And how much you propose to enjoy the rest of the tour. Does it feel alright? Feel <laughs> okay? Jesus. Well, it's something that we're going to do throughout the tour. Uh, we're going to try and um, introduce relaxation responses, uh, sort, sort of uh, almost stress management strategies. <laughs> um, that was another stress management strategy, left hook to the chin, <laughs> which tends to relax people quite well, actually, I think. <laughs>
The wife will never believe it. I thought I was outstanding. I thought the rest of them struggled that. Really, I thought all the other guys were out of beat. I was the only one in time there. At one stage, I had to correct them. Did you notice that? I recall the good old days of non-contact sessions, really, and. Um, that was obviously uh, very pleasing from a medical point of view, and nowadays there's, there's so much uh, demanded of players, not only on the field, but you know, huge questions in training, really, and uh, training is now more physical than it's ever been. So naturally, you're gonna you're gonna get a few uh, you're gonna get a few casualties occasionally. Action speed louder than words. Untouchable, world supremacy, and kings, lions. I think we've had a lot of words so far and uh, it's very important that we've taken it all on board. But I think that one for me means everything. You know, a lot of people say a lot of things before the game. Let's make sure that we live up to them all once we start playing. No one's going to be forced to do anything. And if you can't do it, you can't do it. <laughs> You're right down to hold, just holding wrists. Now we're attempting it. Hey, mind the ball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Thank you, lad, Keep Stay going. Enjoy. <laughs> That's why I'm on the ground floor at the hotel. Yeah. Hold you on the rope. I'm fucking tighter! <laughs> <laughs> what an unusual situation this is. Yeah, this is much harder than winning Kiss Match Rugby, isn't it? I'm just hoping you're going to take enough time to get up there, so we have to get out of here shortly before it's my turn. Same again, lads. I've never been that high in a line out, I know that much. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Didn't think we were going to do that, and I was really, really pleased. It's one of the most, it's one of the hardest things I've ever done, I think. Really pleased. Personally, I don't care where those players come from. If they all came from Wales or Ireland and Scotland, and there were a few English, then fine. We're all sitting around here now, we're, we're training, we're, we're, we're doing all our bits and pieces. What have you been doing in these bonding sessions then? What have you been up to? Uh, everything from banging drums and clanging gongs or whatever, to uh, to the assault courses and to my favourite this morning, climbing climbing large pieces of wood to stand on a tea tray. It's amazing how quickly it has happened. Yeah. The refreshing thing um, about this Lions party on the eve of going out on what is a fantastic tour and achievement for uh, all of them is the, the accessibility of them all. You never get it in football. Um, they're all available. They've all got time for the media. Um, they're saying interesting things. They're not bored. Um, you always think that sometimes football are doing you a favour with the interviews, but here, not at all. They're happy to talk to you. Um, it's uh, Thursday night before we leave for uh, Australia. Um, just thought I'd like to share some of my uh, my feelings about the week. It's been a superb week from a from a playing player's point of view. Um, been very very intense, but also uh, been great. You know the way we've we've uh, 
been doing the team building things with Impact. Um, my personal side this week has been uh, very demoralising and, and very sort of negative in the fact that I um, did a bit of kicking and my lower back went. Spoke to the doctor, had physio, spoke to the doctor again and he actually said if I diagnosed you a week ago um, you wouldn't have been here. Um, he would have told me to rest for six weeks. Um, it has been very, very hard sitting out of training, watching all the boys um, get to, to get together and do the moves. Um, and gel as a team is, is, is something you know I've worked extremely hard for the past year and a half to achieve, and I haven't been able to uh, feel part of the team yet. Social convener of the, the Lions, have you been appointed that yet? Yeah. Because it's known that your parties are pretty good. <laughs> Allegedly, yeah. I think if, uh, if we were to go over and win a test series, I think uh, I don't think anyone would mind how we celebrate it, to be quite honest. One of the difficulties must be integrating the four home unions. When you think of your team talks, John, or before an England Wales match, and you see these dirty Welsh bastards and they'll get offside, <laughs> give them a good bloody shoeing, and don't stop at this and don't stop at that and I'll get the first yellow card, don't you guys worry. Good, thanks. Yeah. Very good. wish the 2001 British Lions the best of luck on their tour of Australia. However, on a personal note, I'm Australian, but best of luck anyway, guys. Thank you. We're here. So you'll be famous. Cheers. Neil Jenkins' knee's a bit swollen and Austin's knee's a bit swollen, Colin's back's a little bit stiff. These are kind of little niggly things that they might have all season, but as soon as you stick somebody into a plane and you drop the pressure, then you get a, a problem. So. Um, we're getting them to loosen up now. Steve Black's getting a, a, a nice gentle workout tonight and then uh, hopefully a good night's sleep tonight and we'll see uh, how things go tomorrow. It's a dinner tomorrow night for the boys, first night out, so um, it's been left to me to organise uh, to go out to the restaurant, 37 of us. And uh, no doubt I'll have plenty of complaints, but they can all... <laughs> The first person to get out gets a whack from everyone else. Bang. So that's basically the international rules of play. Yes! Yes! Don't go too hard. Oh, 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 damn! Yeah, mate. You don't make the tense yes. up. You don't have the tense oh, up. Then, mate, chop it. <laughs> oh, that's a second shot. Yeah. Man. Let's go. Do you start moving the boat. Start moving the boat. Skip forwards. Turn, skip backwards. Skip forwards. Turn, skip backwards. Let's all just jump to the cool post. As you get the goal post, I want you to just come through for the time. 
Just come and have a little fast run past me. For the time, a little fast run past me, that's lovely. Just work your way around, that's lovely. Quickness, speed. Good lads, that's what we're based on, that's what this team's all going to be about. Pace, power, speed, quickness. Good lads. <laughs> Are you all right? Yeah, straight off. Yep, straight off. Was it? Yeah. I can tell because there's all blood on it. You're right. Look after the ball. Robin, Sorry? look after the ball. Yeah. Wherever you turned, Daffy, look after the ball. Wherever you turned, that ball comes back. Mal, wherever you turn, that ball comes back. Might be an idea. Get Richard Hill off the track on Friday night, reasonably early. Yeah. He's looking a bit back to me. I think he is with the uh, what's he like with this? Outstanding. 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 Outstanding pro. Yeah. Good mentality. Go, 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 go! I'm there, man! What are you two doing? Leave me out of the gate! You should be here! No misses, you should pick people off! Go on this one! Redstone, uh, Redstone. Set. Set. Oh, no, no, no. too much pressure, come on. Come on, boys. Set, yes. Yes. pressure and hold. Engage. Yes, yes. 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 Go. 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 I nearly missed the, uh, missed the team meeting, I slept in, a bit of jet lag, but no, I'm really pleased, I thought the session went very well. I'm definitely awake now after the early start this morning, just woken up. Looking forward to our second session and then our third session, then most probably, <laughs> most probably my wake session in the evening. Now we can get on with dinner properly. That's all you made for. Keep quiet. There was a bench next to you, right? There was a bench next to you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Keep talking, love. Keep talking. And you went over to the bench. <laughs> you went over to the bench. has got to eat all that now. And Jason's just eating all that. When he's not eating his crust like a good little boy, he'd be going to bed now. Blackie's told us we can eat what makes us happy, so uh, as you can see, we're feasting. Well, you know, I thought you know the boys started a bit quiet, but uh, we all pulled together. And I thought it went pretty well, really. Not Who, bad restaurant. Who did you felt at the most today? Was it Darren Morris? I think Darren. Yeah, he went back for it. He's still in there now, I think. Uh, we had an all-you-can-eat, and I think we're gonna leave him there till Monday. <laughs> <laughs> it's not amazing that when you're 13, all you want to do is snog. Keep one press for me! Keep one press! 
side. <laughs> Penalty here. Oh, I hit him. I was on my feet. You were. You laid there. You're lying on the floor. You're lying over it. You're lying over it. Oh, no, no. no discussion. No discussion. You're lying on the ball. We're going halfway. No discussion. Push across, Darren. Push across. Keep talking, Darren. Talk. 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 Malcolm, talk! Malcolm, talk! Malcolm, Darren, you're not talking! You've got to talk, you've got to talk! You can't play in this team without talking. The penny is beginning to drop with, uh, with some of the guys, you know? That's the main thing. Getting them to understand it and trust the system. At the moment, because I think defensively we're furthest behind. But as soon as we start performing well and as soon as we stop opposition scoring, then I'm, I'm not like a little pussy cat. Day three, we talk. Fortunately, I've had to get job in with chips. All these people supposedly <laughs> came down to watch Lions train, but, you know, in actual fact, they came. They didn't really come for Lions, they came to see me. They love, they, they love me chips and they love me. And, uh, anyway, I just need a couple more injuries and I might have the chance. I'm waiting on my test selection. So I'll, I'll keep in touch with you and I'll see you next week. Two good chips, mate. Yeah, all right, all right. I've uh, finally come through a few training sessions, still feeling a little bit sore on my back, but a lot happier with the way things have progressed. The sessions have been long, um, the boys are very, very tired sort of physically, but uh, I suppose it's something we need to, we need to get right, so um, the quicker we do it, um, the better it's going to be. Uh, the British and Irish Lions team to play Western Australia on Friday evening is as follows. Fullback Ryan O'Driscoll. I'm playing fullback, am I? Oh dear. I haven't played there before, but um, something I always like to try new experiences. So um, yeah, it'd be a good laugh and just try to take a few tips off off Peza and, and Balch and uh, look at a couple of videos to see what fullbacks do. Um, oh! Keith Wood, captain. I was uh, I was very surprised and very happy by it. It's, it's a big challenge, first match of the tour. I'm really looking forward to it. Slag. Short. Yes! Ha! Short. Short. Well, bear in mind those two people went. I think that means he missed. That's right. Uh, what do you want? Yeah, but they're not the panel. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm a lot more confident today. Yesterday I was, you know, pretty down and absolutely gutted that, you know, dream of being a Lions uh, just it took away from me that quickly. But um, today's a lot more confident, and, and uh, you know the boys are pretty happy with it. So, you know, as long as they're happy, I'm, uh, you know, I'll, I'll be fine. So uh, hopefully you just get me going, take me up, and let me get out there, really. So, um, you know, and if it falls apart after the trip, I don't really care. As long as I can. Uh, Get that shirt, mate. Really. I've been on to the office and Gordon Bullock is joining us tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Now, I wanted you to know that before we tell the press. There is an opinion that you could be okay within two to three weeks. Yeah. It depends yeah. on the treatment and depends how it reacts over the next week. So what yeah. we're going to do is certainly we'll hold you with the party until we go to Brisbane. Mm -hmm. Face it down the range so that I can see it's empty. Not at you. Don't point it at you. <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah, in the box. He's still shooting them little ones. <laughs> oh I had a Magnum rifle, 44. Oh, so we're with the camera. Hey. Yeah. I'd like to say that Mal had caught that fish. But unfortunately, it's myself. Gee, Mal! How do you feel? Catch that fish, bro. <laughs> Very nice indeed. What's it called again? Queen Snapper. It's a Queen Snapper. Phil dragged in with the rest of the lions. <laughs> he did well there. So, it's a little cracker. Oh, we've got fish. We've got fish coming in the boat now. Fish everywhere. They must be easy to catch because Jeremy's got one. Alright, fish. That, that's Jeremy's fish. That is that's pathetic. Absolutely color. pathetic. That red thing is a western fox fish. Caught by Darren Morris. Can I just say that is my fish next to it, which is six times bigger. What more could you ask for? What it means, guys, is winning. There's nothing else, is it? It means winning. It means individuals fighting tooth and nail to be in the test team. Every person here wants to be in the test team. Now, if you're just pleased to be here, we don't want you, do we, really? I think for every one of us, from 1 to 50, that there is a special feeling when you see the Lions team running out onto the field. Today there's 22 guys who've been given that honour. But you know you'll carry it for each and every one on the room. Let's not get fucking over the top. Totally. And I'm buzzing, lads, and I'm almost on the level of going there. And by Christ, can I go there? But I don't want to. I want to be cool, calm, collected, efficient, capable, ruthless, professional. And Howley spots something on, finds Keith Wood, and waiting is Dan Luger. He puts his foot to the floor. That is a world-class finish from Dan Luger. <laughs> he blows kisses, didn't he? He scores. After he scores, he goes like that. That's a try something like that. That's Bernard Sal as well, isn't it? Yeah. It's a Bernard Sal. Luger! Ready, everyone. Big kiss to Luger. Luke! 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 <laughs> I know we scored a lot of points, the points are great, but the standard, the structure. Let's be fucking ruthless. Let's hit the outside shoulders of the guys. Let's attack it. Let's One up minute. our standard. Our standard is not quite good enough and it's hard with them, but let's fucking bring it to a new level. Are we able to? Yeah. Are we content to fucking sit back and say, fuck it, we the match won, let's fucking relax. And it's not good enough, we'll never be good enough for a fucking Lions. Good sidestep from Hadley and Ron Hadley is through again. Shaw 
Too quick. I'll give you a red wine tonight now. Yes, to all sir. Have a drink tonight, boss. I think we should have a couple. Try right, some on 45. Again. It's been a great day. <laughs> Superb. See you in the morning, 7 o'clock. <laughs>
to this second half. Good goal! He's got support inside. It's a good ball too to Jason Robinson. Come on, Billy. <laughs> and he, of course, flies away. And the Lions slowly but surely have come to life yeah! in this game. Out here in this heat, late on, it's, uh, it's turning into a, into a good game to watch. I'm absolutely knackered, man. <laughs> so I'm quite happy to be sat here watching it. Bullock inside that 22 on to Robinson. Oh. He's up to five tries. <laughs> Great. 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 We weren't being allowed to make those decisions because everyone was, you know, concentrating on other, other things, and they got a bit of a turn off, which we're there to do. Um, and fair play to them. They, they, I mean, straight away in the second half, shows the quality of the players. Could have just focused in on what was going on, and uh, you know, really from minute one, the structure we had was was superb, and um, battered them. Uh, the team for Saturday is. Uh, Bosch, Daffod James, Dan Luger, Brian O'Driscoll, Rob Henderson, halfbacks Rob Holy, Johnny Wilkinson, front row Tom Smith, Keith Wood, Phil Vickery, second row Jono, Danny Grukop, back row Richard Hill, Scott Cunnell, Blackie, and the bench is Austin. I'm David for club. I'm going to dye my hair red when we get to Brisbane. <laughs> You've even got to come in there next week. Lift me up. I can fly now, you know what I mean? <laughs> so much energy. Oh, it's worst on travel days. When he's got nothing to do, he starts going around causing trouble, which is what he's doing now. Tentary clears, short playlets that I actually act out myself. Sort of one off, you know, one part plays. Uh, soliloquies even. So I'll, I'll, you'll see me moving about the players, move up just alongside them, and I'll sort of go into maybe a recital from Hamlet. Or maybe uh, uh, from Hamlet. Um, would you like a cigar? Send up. Start running. Press ups, sit ups, press ups, sit ups, stop running. The way that we defend, right, I can, I'm, I'm not saying this that you are, so just, just listen carefully to what I'm yeah. saying. I can, co I can cover real slow defenders coping with real fast attackers. Uh -huh. Okay. So it's really important that you and Brian understand how far away you're going to stand. Yeah. Right, the concept is that they don't come through there. They're going to go through phases tomorrow. It's the way they play. Let's not panic. Yeah, let's get in, turn their ball over. Commit yourself, two of us, to turn their ball over. And everyone else, number off and defend. Yeah. We will force turnovers on them. But don't panic if they go through six, seven phases. Our defence will handle it as long as you concentrate and work hard. No, my kids are killing. Oh, yeah. oh, <laughs> 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 
The shark slammed its fin against this guy's legs and just stripped all his skin from his knees down to his ankles. So the mouth's open, you can see all their teeth top and bottom. And as they're coming towards you like this, Richard, as they're coming towards you, the bottom of the jaw is just moving like that as they're breathing. And then when they get to about two feet from you, they'll stop and they'll go to the right or the left or over the top of you. you know guys, uh, Phil was reassessed yesterday just by the medical people. Uh, unfortunately his injury needs another minimum of two to three weeks. Uh, now given that we have a press conference this afternoon we have to announce that um, Phil will be leaving the official party uh, tomorrow. Uh, now he'll come to Sydney, he wants to stay on and we'll get him rehab here so that uh, you know we won't be seeing the back of him. But I think he deserves to know what's happening before we tell the press uh, this afternoon. Okay? Cheers. He's the life and soul of the party, and although obviously he's very disappointed, he hasn't let that disappointment show, and he put the team first, which has been quite remarkable. Um, he's, he's a very, very likable character and a very good team man, and obviously. A, an outstanding rugby player who we will miss actually because he he can do things a lot of hookers can't do. It's changed since I was here last. It used to be Kaikuia grass, people used to bounce on it and die. It's a very proud home of Queensland rugby. They don't lose very often here. Five, four, three, two. Austin Healy and Colin Chavez. Is it all working well? Yes, um, we've bonded quite well as a squad, but it is a case of we're over here now and everyone's just trying to forget the fact that there's English, Scottish, Irish, Welsh. Henderson showed what good form he was in in Townsville and O'Driscoll is just something special. He told He's me off what you called him when I showed you this clip earlier, wasn't it? I called him an immensely talented footballer, I don't know what you're talking about. You him, <laughs> He's not bad for a little fat leg. <laughs> Tremendous that you take time out on, on game day to talk to us. All the best tonight and have a wonderful tour of Australia. Thank you, sir. Every segment. It was all right, apart from being reminded I got beat 76 yeah. 0 at the Suncorp Stadium. <laughs> Where I played? Yeah. I'm being told that the Aussies hate the English. <laughs> so long as they don't hate the Welsh, they don't mind. Yeah, they don't mind the Welsh, the Scots, the Irish, but they don't half hate the English. Okay, we've two guys. They had their first match on tour today. Johnny. We also create a bit of history today. First time ever one man captains 
Alliance Tour for the second time. I think if the other 21 or the other 49 just get in behind him and do what he does, then we won't have a problem. John? If we don't destroy that, that composure on the field, that ability to win because they've got that coolness and that self-belief, we'll be second. That's our challenge. And it's going to require us to outthink the winner. We have got to be smart. If we're not smart, smarter than them, we're bugging. Tonight, just much more nervous. Creeps up on you like a fog when you don't expect it. Just puts you on the edge. Good feeling. I think we're ready for a massive test. There we go. It's going to be fast, it's going to be hard. When we've got the ball, we're going to fucking take them to pieces. Let's get the ball and run aggressively. If in doubt, let's go fucking forward. Okay? Keep the structure. Yeah? We don't get worried about it. If in doubt, get where you think you should be. Get hold of the ball. Yeah? And play rugby. <laughs> This is for communicating with uh, Mark, the, our other physio, who'll be on the other side of the uh, pitch, just to keep a check on injuries and communicating with the coaches, letting them know if I've made the decision to take somebody off if they can't carry on. Sometimes there's an exchange of words as they try to leave the player on, but ultimately I can win the argument because I can just march off. Sometimes I have to turn it down a little. Things get a wee bit heated. Good job. Okay. We're all there for each other, okay? The whole fucking way. Happy days, okay? Let's see what they've fucking got. Let's see what they've got. Relish the fucking challenge, boys. Come on. Are you ready, John? Okay. Fucking on, boys. Yeah, come on. Hey! We've stopped. Don't bang on. It's your only time ever. Lions, Queensland, it's your only time ever. some fighting still going on I also wonder whether Queensland have decided there's a few volatile characters and they're going to wind them up and there perhaps the most volatile of them all Martin Johnson revved up for this and he's furious at the moment take control of the situation with your guys discipline okay I don't want arguments I'm not going to argue about what discipline from both sides okay Yeah, just told him that when we went on with the water. Bradley, Herbert. Herbert will try and organise. Be the facilitator in midfield, but he met Martin Johnson. And he's got turn over the ball by Chris Gordon and Debbie James. We're out now to Wilkinson. He's pointed towards the corner by Ian Bershaw and Luger scores for the Lions. They tried to rough us up early on, they tried to um, get stuck into Howler, um, Jono um, and uh, David James, but to be fair we kept our cool. And uh, we scored two good tries. I mean, that was just pressure. We got a charge down, good turnover ball, charge down. Got one of pressure score in the corner. First, first try was, a, was a, a good, great kick from Johnny. And he's just slotted a fantastic touchline conversion. So uh, we've got to keep on. I think it's about 15, 16 minutes left in the first half. So we need to make sure we keep a bit more pressure. But it have got to go. Advantage of 
side. Less than five metres now. Tom Smith's there. Howley. Oh, his worst pass of the half. Didn't matter. Brilliant recovery. Richard Hill. Hilder. Hilder's just scored a sensational try. Brilliant. Who's the pass? Who's the pass inside? Johnny. Johnny. Great ball. Great line. Very good start. Very good start. Can I just say that? But we've got a long way to go, haven't we? Let's not get to in love with ourselves here. Let's go up another couple of notches this half. And really make them think about us for that test match in two weeks' time. there in the second the second half and you all about it. <laughs> and that kid haven't played for about sort of six or seven weeks so bit of an hour, but a good start but I just dropped off a bit in the second half and just Luke has got you through then yeah. yeah it's just a bit just a bit sort of lost in the second half a few times lost a few lost a few balls made it hard for ourselves but that'll do for now I think just a minute good luck guys well done we went another couple of runs up the ladder particularly first half and uh, the nine internationals that played out there tonight know they've been in for a hell of a game we've still got a hell of a lot to work on haven't we but it's, a, it's another step up in the right direction once we keep our feet on the ground and keep working at it we'll achieve what we set out to achieve so superb well done uh, look, I know some guys want to have a beer, others want to go to bed, so we just named the team for Tuesday night. It is Matt Perry, Jason Robinson, Will Greenwood, Mike Cat. Yeah, finally been named in a side, which is quite nice, but uh, got to get to a training session Monday first, so, so we see how it goes, but... You know, it's one positive step, so hopefully yeah. I'll get the next one. Scott Murray, Mal, Lawrence. Mm. Yeah, very pleased. Very pleased. Looking forward to Tuesday. I think we're going to have to, um, you know, it's a very strong side, so we're going to have to play very well. Um, but absolutely delighted. And, uh, let's build up towards the game, huh? I'd like to welcome you aboard Flight 533 to Sydney. I'd also like to take this opportunity to welcome aboard the British and Irish Lions and the England World Cup Where we stayed, which is unbelievable, is Palm Beach. Oh, 
where they um, just just before pump is where they film home and away. Oh my lord, he's behind me now. I was allowed to do anything before. It's all the warm up. It's alright. No, it's fine. Not quite good. Fortunately, through his hard work and uh, that of Mark Davis, he's uh, looking as though he's going to stay on tour now, so I'm delighted with that. Never been worried about this man. It's the opposition that should be worried about this man. Yeah, I like that talk. Yeah, you can talk. Pretty nervous at the moment, not really sure how my body's going to hold on, but it's one of those things. Get put, in, put in the mixer and see how it comes out. I don't think you need to be told that tonight is a, a huge game in the context of the tour. We've only played three games since we've come here. And the Aussies are fucking whinging already. They've given out about our blood substitutions. They've given out about our water boys. And they've given out that you're too fucking physical. Right now they're running scared. This will be the toughest bloody game we play outside the test matches. And so we've got to play out of our skin, don't we? We've got to be right up there yet to play well. And the first thing, we talked a lot at Tenley Hall about the courage and the heart of the Lions over the years and the great Lions teams. And we talked about words like commitment and hunger and ruthlessness. And we need to put some meaning into those words tonight for the first time on this tour. It's Neil Jenkins for the Lions. Lawrence to eight. Lawrence to eight. Get the message over. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, put some pressure on there. Okay. Not a lot of life about this. I'm slow to fall. I'm slow to. Uh, Edmund's kick is solid. Healy, Jenkins. Edmonds keeps it simple. But hold back. Missed his man there, and Kent hacks on. My cat's in trouble. and this will be a fascinating second period. First thing we've got to do is get our heads up, eh? We've got to get our heads up and play the game. And you're not going to win the game unless you take them on. All right, we're fat as bloody pancakes. So you've got to get your heads up, have a huge amount of pride, and do the business. 
they were flat. And you, you guys have got a responsibility here which goes back a hundred years. There's no excuse for that in my opinion. Alright? So get yourselves up there. Because you've got a huge responsibility for 50 people. The 15 are on the track. And it's embarrassing, as far as I'm concerned. We fucking said it. It came from every single one of us. Yeah. Alright? And we owe our fucking selves a bit of a duty. And the guys fucking watching, because they fucking put it in. Alright? Now fucking turn those words into something that mean. Hey, let's fucking do the business. Each and every one of us will sort this out. Do the fucking business now, all right? Healy again. Oh, it's on for Terry! No space here! Come on, man! You have it! Whitaker, Edmonds, Bartholomews. three points, right? We scored three tries to one, and we know we fucked up, okay? You've got to fucking take the feeling this is what touring is all about. There's fucking ups and there's downs, and there's good times and there's bad. We left ourselves down, we know that. The measure of us now is we go back, we fucking regroup, we stay solid tonight, and we start tomorrow morning. And we analyse where we went wrong, and we fucking work, and we hit the field on Saturday, and as it, this is the last fucking game we lose. Well, get in the habit of digging your shoulder in, okay? And I want to be at the back feeling, right, if he got behind us, I know it was only because we were not full on, okay? So let's get out of the habit of playing tick. If you're not fit now to dig that shoulder in, then just go to the side and we'll get your uh, we'll get somebody to replace you. Swelling coming up straight away instant. Cracking, you know, a thump of the head so shows yeah. the brain around as well. Yeah. So. Yeah. That's the end of the session for him. A bit sore so a bit bangs, alright. She's done. When you hit it, one, two, hold, keep the pressure on and go again. That's it. Back five, this thing, we're trying to explode over that. Well, right. I say, you just say something, guys. It's an explosion from that. You're, you're dropping the scrum on the end, all right? You're sinking it on the end, exploding on the now. Like, the sink is about this much. We're not dropping it enough, and we're doing it too late. And now, and we drop it on the end. We're going to drop it about two, two inches. It's not there at the moment. Shit! Yes! yes. Engage! Engage! One, two! And now! One, two! 
I've done it before actually, but looking forward to it. Until I get back to U-turn. U-turn is in order. Yeah. I'll just give it a little break on the door. As you know, Captain Cook came past and settled in, uh, discovered or whatever, in 1770. They actually sailed by past Port Jackson. Just noted in his journal what a fantastic harbour it was. So that's how you got company requests. Uh, I want to go somewhere down the harbour wall. A bit of a giggle if he fell out. Dan's become the fourth person to uh, to go off tour. Um, he has quite a severe facial fracture. Um, the extent of which really has only become known today, um, having got a specialist opinion, but certainly confirmed my worst nightmares really because I, uh, I was having another look at the scans last night and felt that things were more desperate than they appeared yesterday afternoon and from such an innocuous episode um, tours are ended it's hard you know another injury and just come back from one it was you know i'm really happy to be out here and looking for a chance you know to hopefully play in the test and do something special with the lions but obviously it's not gonna not gonna quite be but you know life goes on and been here before and it's not the end of the world I've still still got my health <laughs> dan's probably our number one winger i think on this tour and you know, it's a huge loss just like mike kett so but the big thing is that we just got to get on with it and be positive. Well, I think we can't do anything about it. Sorry, mate. Sorry, yeah. Thanks. Is that a copy of the Newcastle Bridge? Oh, all right. Yeah, well, unfortunately, I'm not a fish eater. Um, we've gone to a fish restaurant, a purely fish restaurant. Should we go, should we, should we go up there and have a little chat first? <laughs> Nothing. Look it out. There's a few non-fish eaters, so we just we're, uh, we sent a few uh, messengers in to find out what the, what the deal is. No, I don't. Hello, stranger, you all right? Yeah, good. Thank you, mate. Yeah, good. Straight brunch. What's the way, sir? Yeah, I got the call midnight last night, so it's been a... Uh, you know, quick decision. Barely had time to kiss my wife and daughter, so nice to be here. Just get it on the road now. It's the best shape I've seen him in his life, really. He's skinny. He's jumping out of his skin. He wants to play. He's been ringing people about this Lions tour and ringing people over here to see how, how people have been physically, particularly Mike Cat. He's a, an icon, really, on Lions Tours, and um, he's a motivator, a very stimulating personality. And I think the guys will be a lot out of him, you know, and he, he, he will add to the party. It's extremely rewarding. <laughs> You're super fresh. Yeah. 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 Hey, sweetheart. Can you see me? Can you see me, sweetheart? This is what Daddy's got for you. Daddy, bring it back for you. She's three today. Yeah, she's three. She's got a very large Barbie cake at the other end, but I didn't think a Barbie cake would go down well in front of the boys. So. Come sir. Yeah, miss them all. Hey. Sorry. Ben's half his time in the real world and, and the rest of his time in Healy Land, in, in which, is a, which is a fantasy world yeah. that only he knows about. Ten minutes in the way. Look like you don't know where you're going. Hold on, get in the way. Run flat out. 
and then accelerate. Around. You're bouncing, up the left. Up on a bang. Oh, that oh. massive. <laughs> hey, you'll take that as your drive, won't you? <laughs> you take it, that one, Will. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Lovely strike. Come around. differently. Some go into a shell and totally focus on it. Other people, the best way of preparation is just to keep chatting, to have a bit of music on, to have a bit of a laugh. I know uh, Keith Woods one like that, I want that. Bucky, Bucky's similar. So it's, uh, I try not to think about the game too much, to be honest, otherwise they become neurotic. And we don't want that. at the start of the game um, it's difficult to tell it's totally frozen now um, but we'll see in about 24 hours but it should just be a routine spray and I'm just struggling to it's a fast game out there New South Wales with a quality side I'm going to tell you what, Billy's playing himself in the distance. He's playing himself in the distance. I'd say he's played him in already. Lawrence? Oh, jeez. Is that like me? Come on, Lawrence, come on. Just talk about the kick returns for a minute. We've got to get back to Bosch, don't we? Wingers, other guys, get back to them. Bosch, don't try anything high percentage. All right? If it's on, fine. If it's it's not on, we'll just get back to them, set it up and go down the blind side from there. All right? But wingers and other people, you've got to get back to them to set that ball up. We're, we're taking risks, taking high percentage chances at the back there. So let's get back to them, down the blind side. Build the desire. That's all 22. Not just 15. We need some desire. It's an 80 minute game, this one. We've got one or two pretty awful problems. Phil Vicker has done his ribs in. Um, the uh, hooker Keith Wood's struggling with a respiratory infection, I think. And uh, Darren Morris has broken his nose.
got to go. He's got to go. That is terrible. recommendation. Okay? Cheap shots. I know it's uh, gonna continue to bloody hammer. The fucker caught, caught me in the first one, you yeah. know what I mean? I couldn't yeah. fucking defend myself then. I was fucking trying to look after the ball. Dawson, well picked up by Tom Smith, Neil back, good ball to Wilkinson, does he have the pace to get there, it's Johnny Wilkinson to score for the Lions. Good try Johnny, good try. I haven't seen the damage yet. I gave it a few hours. I just suppose the parents would be most concerned about it. And my, my girlfriend at home watching it should be on frantic, but I'm all right. It's grand. I haven't been split ever before in a rugby match. Just hurling was the last time. So I was old when I suppose. Now another Lions player is down on the floor. And that, I think, is Neil Back. What's happened, James? Over. Now I'm on the screen. 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 Now I'm on the on the just deal with it, hopefully everyone comes through and scave the meat, you know, get ourselves collected for next week, Tuesday next week. We're just trying to take as many out as possible, isn't it? Yeah, well, we succeeded, we've taken a few out. 1971, lads, the Lions played Canterbury the week before the first test. The last three players, because Canterbury went out deliberately to kick the shit out of them, right? The Lions won the test series 3-1. Just remember how you feel now. Remember what they did to Raj. Remember fucking what happened out there. We were set up. And fucking lads, if we were ever tight, we're tight now. And we start the fucking test week now. Okay? We showed outstanding discipline. We never took a backward step. And we fucking pulled together when we had to. 
No. Remember that next week, boys. This is the fucking moment that we'll win the test series. Okay? No. Well done. Good morning. Ah! Well, I've got three, three for the hospital. Yeah. Who's, um, what's up, mate? Who's, uh, who's hurt? Yeah, no. No. Who's hurt me? We've got Will Green with ankles. Shot <laughs> the It is hot yeah. yeah? Yeah. I'm hoping that it's certainly looks like it. <laughs> and uh, Vic's ribs and back his ribs. Fucking <laughs> juice. Well, I think the game's been cleaned up a huge amount over the last 30 years, and it's very disappointing to see some of the incidents that happened today. Should be coming in, in my number ones from a party, but I'm, I've had a good night's sleep, and I'm off to some hearing now. Unfortunately, sometimes they go for quite a long time. So, I mean, the difficulty this morning is going to be getting the flight because we've got to leave the hotel at quarter past 11 and this could actually go for quite a, a long time. Well done. I've hearing is still going on. I mean, they were putting up a defence case there that defies logic. But I think uh, we were given an opportunity and Ronald was given an opportunity of giving his version of events which was self-explanatory, really, so we've been asked if they're happy with our explanation. We've let the judicial hearing. Feels like I'm leaving, leaving the High Court. <laughs> Lala's one of those players that gives off um, an, an aura, uh, even without saying anything. So um, I'm sure it's going to be very disappointing for him and, and for everyone else. The Test Series, without doubt, is going to be uh, an extremely physical encounter. Um, and unless you're absolutely 100%, you know, you can't even think about playing in it. Um, there's a lot of guys on the tour um, who have been playing well. Uh, who are 100% and uh, and could do a you know a far better job than myself. So uh, it's uh, yeah it's a big disappointment for me, um, but uh, you know one that I'll, I'll just have to deal with. Vix will miss me. He uh, he says he won't, but he will. Um, <laughs> but um, he snores anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, get lost. So I just asked a very simple question: What are you going to bed with tonight? I'm not. A bag of ice for my arse. What, what is wrong with your ass? Bruised. Do you want to see it? Yeah. That's the That's just the beginning of it. Oh. Because Lawrence did that to me. There's a sign in the bedroom saying, beware of the insects, funnel webs, red backs, whatever. Beware snakes. So I was just bitten by a bull ant. He's a big bastard, man. There we go. Yeah. It'll be okay. Doc, how serious is this? Yeah, well, it's quite serious. I don't like little black crawling beasts. You, you know? I don't know if you're going to play tomorrow or not. Man. <laughs> you better tell Graham, and I'm not telling him. Looking forward to this, Danny? Yeah. Yeah? No I'm worries. Faster, give me a wee smile, will you? Uh, everybody else. Faster! Yeah, I'm not saying anything to you, you stupid way. Uh, sure. Serious. Serious safety. Yeah. Thank you.
we all got our heads down over it. We all got to know him. We all got to be upset about it. So I don't see any point in us talking about the game tomorrow. Will you please stand for a moment of silence in memory of Anton Toya, who passed away yesterday. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Almost up to that cockatoo, 22. Let him go. Jenkins pass to Taylor, then Bolshaw has a good ball on to Cohen, and Cohen gets it. Jenkins, Taylor to Williams, and then Jarvis is through here. Still Jarvis, all the way to Jarvis. And Healy from the turnover, there is Gibbs getting it out to Martin Corey. And behind Healy, but he took it really well, and that's a good offload too to Cohen and then Martin Williams, and then Scott Gibbs. Yeah, I've got the elbow, did. I think you've sold my fucking contact lens to my lid. Have I? Yeah. 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 You do things differently up here. Uh, we've had receptions in hotels, in surf clubs, in airports, uh, but it's our, our first barn dance. Uh... So the, the team is Matt Perry, Daffod James, Brian O'Driscoll, Rob Henderson, Jason Robinson, Johnny Wilkinson, Rob Howley, Tom Smith, Keith Wood, Phil Vickery, Martin Johnson, Danny Grucock, Martin Corey, 6, Richard Hill, 7, Scott Connell, 8. At the bench is Jason Leonard, Gordon Bullock, Colin Charvis, Martin Williams, Matt Dawson, Austin Healy and Ian Balshaw. This game is the biggest game you've ever played in your life. To be selected as a coach or to be selected to play to me means nothing. What matters is that if you're selected in a team and you lose, to me it's worse than not being selected at all. And you 22 guys have got one awesome responsibility. Because all we're about on Saturday is that. Neil Back must be enormously disappointed. Uh, Neil has every reason to be disappointed. Unfortunately, he picked up an injury in the last game that he played. And um, whilst I'm sure Backy would play with any injury, it was kind of left to me to make a decision on the medical grounds that uh, he shouldn't be considered for selection. So it wasn't touch and go in deciding that he wasn't fit to be selected. It was touch and go um, being asked to accompany the assistant coach and the um, captain to go and tell him. Because <laughs> <laughs> Martin kindly reminded me that Neil doesn't take uh, take too too well to being left out of the team, and the, the fear was that he might have just bopped me one on the chin. It was a management decision, along with the, the doctor's advice, basically. Uh, Robbo, Jono and, and, and James uh, coming to the room last night and uh, you know, it was the right decision, you know, I could have played and, but uh, I wouldn't have been 100% and uh, you know, to beat Australia you've got to be 100% so it was the right decision and uh, I've just got to deal with it now. One. 
Get my bag soon. Get off my bag. That's what I'm on. I'd say about probably 25 minutes. Thank you, no, we, we'll have it sorted out. Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah. You haven't seen any MJ gear, have you? I'm looking for my black bag because I've got all my gear and I don't want to go to the gym. <laughs> As you can see, I'll do my bags first, the rest will follow. Jeez, pal, you're a great bag, man. Yeah. So we have two truckloads. It's about four bags per player, which is in excess of 200, just right. for gear alone. Okay. Just knock off the questions straight away. Yeah. Well, I thought we were doing a photo shoot, mate. So the press conference of a photo shoot. Yep. Okay. Very hard. Hard? Yeah, that is very hard. That's yeah. um, no, that's funny sound. Yeah. Yeah. The ups and downs of of rugby are unbelievable, the ups and downs of injury are unbelievable, the ups and downs of form are unbelievable, you know, selection. Um, so it's just topsy-turvy. Well, I knew on, when he was going to play me on, uh, on Tuesday, I had a feeling that I wouldn't be starting in the first test. Uh, so, but when he announced that, I was very disappointed. England play a type of game that, because of the personnel, that uh, I don't, well, Teams can play it, but they haven't quite. We've just it's taken us a long time to get there. Clive's worked very hard, and Robbo uh, and Brian Ashton's worked very hard on getting the team there. And it's taken a long time, but now we've reached a point where I think we're playing some exceptional rugby. Very wide, very expansive. The way the lines are trying to play a different way, and everyone's got to buy into that. Um, and unfortunately for me, it's not uh, you know it's not gone the way that I'd like it. I don't feel I've been given it. I have been given up the opportunity. I, I, I wouldn't say I've been playing the best rugby, but then again, I've not been getting you know much ball, um, so I haven't been able to show um, the selection team what I can, what I can do. In terms of our friendship, we're you know we're good mates, and nothing nothing's changed there. Getting selected is one thing, um, but now I've got a job to do, and you, you know that, that's the that's the main thing. I've got a job to do for you know not only. You know the Lions' history, the personal pride, you know, family, you know, everyone who's supporting it here, and uh, you know that's, that's, that means a lot to me. This is the ultimate selection, and I, you know, I can't believe it. Yeah, have you ever been here before? No, I've never been here before. I don't particularly care that much. Have you uh, played cricket here before? No, funny enough, my my pub eleven has never made it this well. Have they ever got an out of Epping? <laughs> They're actually, uh, I think they've been banned from competitive cricket. <laughs> they they misuse the uh, the use of the uh, the willow bats. A few a few umpires have been attacked. <laughs> I can't believe what are we doing here if the pitch ain't even marked out. Don't look at the grass. It's green. Yeah. It's green. Short. Very short. It's in an oval. I'm really nervous now, you know. It's starting to hit me now that I'm in one of the biggest games of my life, or the biggest game of my life, and uh, can't wait for it. Well, ah. you know there's a camera there. What? Behind you on the wall. No. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. I'm not I can't go front on fellas. No. I've no. some sort of decency. Oh, Gotta have a little bit of je ne sais no, quoi no. for all the ladies out there. <laughs> no, <it's laughs> you know. Bonnie. 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 Carnage. Yes. We have to worry your number ones, Pez. Yeah? Boss, I can worry your number ones. My number ones are in the laundry and uh, I'm supposed to go to the British consulate. There is a British consulate oh, yeah, to do nice. in about ten minutes time. You said number ones. The number ones, yeah. The yeah, that's not. This is the original number hey, ones. Babe. Hello, Joan. <laughs> um, right, I've just been locked out. Of room. <laughs> <laughs> I um, can't find my number ones, and Andy Robinson's got them. A tie would be great. Yeah, that'd be a start. Oh, John, have you got stuff for that? Twelve. Um, I can't find them anyway. Hey, I'll what what number is it? Oh, next one. Twelve thirteen. Oh, cool. Save my skin. Excuse me. Yes, sir. Do you let me into room 1204? It's, it's an emergency. You're one of them, please. Hello? Okay. Life or death. Then you must be number one, too. Huh? Mate, my number one's just gone missing. <laughs> it's 
and have some clothes on for the mayor of wherever we are anyway. Oh, they're quite good fun. You just, sometimes you need a couple of looseners. Fortunately, my uncle, I'm off alcohol, uh, which is a struggle for a ex-university student slash city broker slash northerner. Um, and I'm a shy lad at the best of times, so uh, I find a little corner, tuck away and uh, speak when spoken to. Very poor ambassador for the game of rugby, but... You've been there, done that anyway, but it's well, a bit disappointing. Never mind, I should get back to see my children. It's a bit of an unexpected A bit of a worry at one stage when I had no clothes. I turned up with a pants and a pair, and a pair of pants and a tie on. To the governor of Australia. <laughs> it does seem vote for a republic anyway. I don't know why we bother. Did you hear that? She said, tell that my cat. If I were 40 years younger, his girlfriend wouldn't have a chance. Governor of Queensland, Peter, <coughs> distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, uh, can I just say how thrilled we are on behalf of the 2001 Lions uh, to be invited to this fantastic function this evening. I'd also like to, to make a belated apology. I think I was here with another group of lions in this house about 12 years ago. Uh, I think we might have overstayed our welcome that night. <laughs> Back in the amateur days, uh, you weren't fed as well as you are now. And, uh, <laughs> I think uh, we'd come from Alice Springs or somewhere before we came here. So... Um, I think the food and the drink didn't last as long as they thought it would. <laughs> but as I say, times have changed, and uh, I don't think you'll have that problem tonight. Not in the diet. Yeah. You have to keep your strength up, don't you? We've got a big game on ACT on Tuesday, so if we're playing, we'll have to be strong. We'll have to eat up. This fella comes out, he goes, Mate, I'm a really big rugby fan. Martin, how are you? <laughs> Okay, we saw, we ate, we left. We fucking get it on tomorrow. We stand up. They don't rate us. They don't rate us, and they fucked us about. Okay, and we show them tomorrow. We're playing. Okay, let's go. Come on, come on, come on! Come on, come on! I will get out of here. I get out of here. I I didn't used to sleep that well from a sort of Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday onwards, but now I get so tired about thinking about everything so many times that I'm sort of, I'm quite pleased when it comes to, to Friday night, but uh, I haven't, there's quite a sort of, I think a lot of the players haven't spoken to them, it's, it's, it's all the same, you know, it's, you go to bed on a Friday, you're quite tired and you, you fall asleep and you, as soon as your eyes open Saturday morning, you, you sort of have a couple of blinks and and it's uh, and it's oh well, you know it's a good night's sleep and suddenly it just kicks in immediately it's you know, it's game day that's the strange part of it is, is having this this immense sort of feeling of um, uh, of nerves and and anxiety and and just desire to for everything to go right there's no doubt about running out in front of big crowds in occasions like this is. You know, I, I haven't done it before, but I imagine it'll be the, the high point of my career. Yeah, fine. I'll, I'll, I'll yeah. Do the best All right, thanks. Cheers. Bye-bye. Bye. Thanks for that, Chase. Sorry about that, man. <laughs> you know, it's like, when you go, you've got to go, you've just got to go. It's a massive game tomorrow, and it's something that we've you know, done a lot of preparation for, and. You know, we're gonna, you know, we're, tomorrow's almost D-Day. Find out whether the preparations we've done are right. It's one of the greatest things can be done, but also, you know, if things don't go well, it can be sort of the lowest point. You know, and I certainly don't want to go back home 
you know, being part of the Lions team, that's, that's not uh, done well. It's about belief. You're all outstanding rugby players. We haven't picked you to go on the pitch and hide tomorrow. We've picked you to believe in yourselves. Believe in what you're about. Believe because you're the best competitors to come from the Northern Hemisphere. I want us coming off tomorrow as the best in the world. I want belief because you're winners. We're going to win tomorrow. Five weeks ago today, we assembled in Tilney Hall. And every second of that was geared towards this moment. And we've lost some guys along the way. Other guys have come into the party. But everything is geared to just now, and the next four hours. OK? 22 guys have been given the, the ultimate honour and the ultimate responsibility. And just to recognise that, uh, I've asked probably one of the greatest Lions of all, five Lions tours behind him, a 17 test for the Lions, Willie John McBride, just to say one or two words and just to present you with your test jersey. So, Willie. Thanks, uh, Donald. Uh, I don't want to sort of stand. I, I'd sit with you. Uh, man, I believe that it's a great privilege for me to be asked to come here along, along here today and just be part of this. I'm sure you're excited. Biggest day in your rugby lives, for most of you. Biggest day in your rugby lives. I was never a professional rugby player. Many changes over the last number of years. But at this stage, some things never change. Like the pain in the gut, the agony, the worry. That should be there. Today, you're here representing four countries. Today is about putting another layer of Lions history on the table. There are times in this game today where you've got to reach into the very depths of your inner being to pick it up and go again. That's what it's about. And finally, it's about winning. That's the only thing that's acceptable at this stage. Worth it. It's worth all that pain, all that agony. You'll never forget it for the rest of your lives. Good luck. And you make your own luck in this game. Three block, which has never been done before. 
pathways to fucking men when they look at one of his. Okay? From the one of his. Not the first ten, but it's easy, and it's fucking all bravado. Yeah? The next ten, and the next ten, and the next. But it's graft and it's hard, and you have to put your fucking head over the ball. You do it. You do it. Even if you don't fucking want to, you do it for everyone else. Yeah? Because no one's letting anyone down. Get it, Dad. Get it. No one's letting anyone down. No way. Okay? You're on the inside, you're up your feet, you play a fucking hard nosed all game. Okay? It's tough, it's gonna be fast and furious, you're gonna be fucking breathing through your ass, they'll be worse. Okay? They will be worse. John, build a score. Messages for half time over. Relevant points for half time that keep our composure, um, keep the discipline, play within the plan, and ensure victory. Well, you need to play twice as well as half You've got to play twice as well as half and we've got the game nice. So we're going to lift it 50%. Right? We're going to lift it 50. And just relax and play. Get down to your field position and relax and play. When we take them on, they can't handle us. So just relax and play, okay? And get that field position and stand up in the tackles. So the only time they're going to turn us over when they're going to ground the middle. We just stand up in the tackles, okay? And keep the first phase of defence going. It's the curve. They can't punch them because they're knocking over behind their bonus line on the first phase of defence, which is great. But you've got to lift the 50%. Now, it's there, isn't it? It's there to lift, right? 
We'll go down the 50. And do those things. They're going down like flies. Both front row have gone down. They're struggling to keep the pace. If we get Smith out of the game, we'll dominate. Okay? We've got to knock him out of the game. We're fucking tired. The chat kit takes up to here, and the fucking mentalist takes us back up to where we start. We get on the pitch now, like we start. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come Now. Get it wide now, they've got boards we out go. there. We go, over, we go. Boards out there. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Why is... Get it through. Let's go see. Got him. 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 That's a great drive. Let's build this score it's over. Superb. Build the score over. Boom, boom, boom! Holy big hit. Good throw, great throw. Come on! Come on, Scotty. I need an update, James, on uh, Quinnell. Let's keep an eye on Quinnell, please. Over. You keep an eye on Scotty. Yeah, I'm on Great, ch great challenge in the lineup. Henderson! Oh, he's through now! Rick Henderson slicing them apart! No tries, no tries. Here's Walker, oh, this is Walker. That's what he can do. Burn. out it goes to Gray, and now Ross, can he finish like Walker? Congratulations, well done. Yes! Yes, I'm absolutely shattered. I think that last 15 was a killer. The game started at one hell of a speed. Quartet, about 50 minutes in, I was, I was wondering whether I had it, had it fitness-wise. Felt a lot better towards the end of the second half. But all credit to Australia, you give them an inch, they'll take it. They forced us all the way at the end. But it was brilliant, we held on. We nearly let them in it. We nearly let them in it, but we're just too good in the end, really. But that's only 1-0. Let's go 2-0 next Saturday. I'm just delighted, I'm just absolutely delighted. We've got a lot to do yet. Absolutely delighted with the, for the guys, they played superbly. Defended magnificently and scored four tries. No, you can't ask any more than that. You can't ask any more than that. 
Today it would have been, well, it just would have been like death, you know. But we fucking done them, shoved it up their asses. You now they can moan about the referee and moan about the fucking somewhat another, but we've won, so it's all I give a shit about. We stood off them and let them go in for two. Um, but fuck it, we won, didn't we? Ha <laughs> ha! But it's half time, you enjoy yourselves tonight, you deserve it. We'll meet at 11 o'clock in the morning. We'll go back for club. We'll meet at 11 in the morning and we start again. But boys, let's not fucking get carried away, boys. Let's not get carried away. That's what Tour is about. Winning games like that, okay? Winning games like that. Let's go and win on Tuesday and win next Saturday. Okay? Awesome, boys. Hey! This morning in the paper in London, there is sustained and very harsh criticism of the management methods on tour by Matt Dawson, which is not, uh, doesn't be the vote for pushing any way. Uh, I haven't seen the article, and really I don't think there's any point in saying anything I, 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 until I do. I mean, comments about the spirit in the camp and all that, I think all you have to do is look at the performance here this evening. Uh, you know, we did have a hard week, there's no point in, in beating or about the bush on that. But uh, I mean, I think, you know, we do our talking on the rugby pitch, and that's it. I think he probably feels he's left himself down, but that's... Uh, it's done and that's it. It was a naivety to think that any of that information that uh, you know that was controversial would uh, would somehow come across non-controversial. But um, I tried to make it uh, at the time. I thought I was writing a piece that was um, informative, yet you know um, interesting and and. Um, Apt for the for the way the tour was going, but you know, reading it now, it was sort of a, you know, a lot, the the weekend's been a bit of a sort of um, nightmare rather than a dream, um, and it's as if I've woken up and, and thought, right, well, you've read it, um, I've read it in the cold light of day, and uh, you know, unfortunately, that's that's not good enough on my behalf, and now I'm going to have to, um, you know, spend the rest of the tour. Building the the bridges that uh, you know, unfortunately, are burned by uh, by the, the untimely article. I thought uh, I thought it was you know the end of my tour um, due to my own stupidity, uh, which I never thought I'd ever end up saying. Uh, I don't think anyone expects to go home other than due to injury or illness. And uh, unfortunately, I nearly wrote the history, rewrote the history books in a way that. Uh, I've been very happy with. I can sit here and, and everyone will expect me to, to now say, oh yeah, but the, um, everything's great. I've been, you know, I've taken a talent off, and uh, now I'm going to be Mr. Positive, and, and everything's going well on the tour, and um, you know, won the game, and all the coaches are brilliant, and we've now got a great game plan and all the rest of it. And um, you know, I'm going to be very wary about doing that. Because it, you know, that just it just looks you know, fairly pathetic on my behalf. Over time, I've I've now realised that a lot a lot of the, the stuff that I wrote, uh, well, not not a lot of it, some of the stuff that I wrote, um, you know, has changed. You know, at one stage I strongly considered sending him home, but um, I think it would have caused more controversy had we sent him home the week between the first and the second test. You've won the first test. The focus has to be on winning the series next Saturday, winning the second test. If we sent him home, uh, I think everything, the newspapers, the pressure would be built up within the squad again because of that incident. So uh, he wasn't sent home, but he has been heavily fined and he has made a public apology to the management and to all the players. I think what he did was totally and utterly irresponsible for a player of his experience. Oh, my name is McNamara, I'm the leader of the band. Although we're few in number, we're the best in all the land. Hennessy, Tennessee, Tootles, the flute and the music is something grand. A credit to old Ireland is McNamara's band. La la la, la 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 la, la 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 la
I have a dry two weeks now, Hank. Booze? Yeah. I think the liver has expanded, I'm sure. That's why I've put on weight. It's nothing to do with the food. How long have we been on tour? Like one, one half night out. Involved in so many games early on, followed by doing this. Yeah. And an alcohol ban, obviously, on yeah. <laughs> injured players. Certainly the joint's very stable. It's just got a little bit of pain at the front. That's something they can work on. Um, he's pleased, I think. He's pleased. But it boosted everybody else up as well. They see you doing a little bit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Nobody wants to see anybody crocked. On straight and narrow. Yeah, well, it keeps them thinking, <laughs> fucking hell, is he going to come in or not? It's sharpened their appetite. It's pretty good, actually. I'm very happy with the way it's come on. It's, uh, it's tough, though, these, these ligament strains. You've got to keep pushing it. Um, so when you feel as though it's really hurting, um, you back, you, you do what you do today, and then two or three hours later, you think, oh, yeah, maybe I can go a bit faster now, and it, and it hurts again. But um, it's just the way these intensive physiotherapy. Ask Gibbsy about 97. Um, he did his exa exactly 97 and 93, virtually identical to mine, and uh, he played again on both those tours. Hi, nice. you very welcome. Good to see you. Very welcome. You're very welcome. Richard, how are you? Richard, yeah, good to see you. Yes, indeed, that was a great day. Having a wonderful time, thank you. Yes, 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 of course. Yes, we have enjoyed it. It's been marvellous. Yes, yeah, you indeed um, friends ladies and gentlemen um, I just want to say a few words very quickly we welcome Graham Henry and Trevor Black Dr Pat O'Keefe and Joan Moore if I do mention Brian O'Driscoll Keith Wood and Pat Henderson you'll understand Pat Henderson <laughs> yeah. what, a, what a player what a player and I've always wanted to be Trevor and I've fulfilled oh, I don't confirmation I even picked Trevor Trevor Oh, Trev, oh, you don't, kid. <laughs> Am I? Really? <laughs> and is that Dr. Pat O'Keefe? Yeah, Dr. Pat O'Keefe. Dr. Pat. Come on, Dr. Pat. Good. Is that the biggest joke ever? Thanks, Dr. Ambassador. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, can you get the other one? Tonight, you owe nothing to anyone. The only thing you owe to is to yourselves as a group of people. You've made sacrifices over the last two weeks. But tonight has to be for yourselves. There may be guys who play tonight who won't wear a lion shirt again. There may be guys who play who mightn't wear it for four years. So don't waste the opportunity, boys. It's a huge game, huge night. You're playing the Super 12 champions in their backyard but they have an unbelievable record at home. We've played seven games and won six. Right, the one we lost still hurts. Remember in that A game when they came off the pitch and they were all fucking cheering? Yeah? Let's rub it in their faces all the way through the game. Every big tackle the saw makes were in there fucking telling them they're going to get another one. Yeah? Let's intimidate the fuck out of them. These boys aren't got the class that we've got. Yeah. Let's fucking show it to them. Yes. Class in it, kid, eh? Absolutely different class. Yeah. Show sure everybody what a great player you are, Dos. No. Great player you are. Don't be come through us, boys. No miss tackles. You said I'm standard. No fucking tries.
giving you out. Nobby! you talked about before the game. It's that old bullshit, is it? Where's the fucking honesty? 22-10 out there. We can do these bastards if everybody gets right up there and on their toes and does the business. And you can look at yourself in the mirror when you're coming after the game and say, I gave a, I gave a fucking hundred. I'll tell you what, a lot of you couldn't do that right now. You couldn't go on that, look at that mirror and look at yourself and say, I gave a hundred for this group of people. It's a huge honour to wear that shirt but a hell of a big responsibility, and we're not taking on the responsibility. Get it clear in your mind, your own individual job is going to be Gibbsy. It's going to be Tails, isn't it? Going through Ted, going over Howard. Who's going to be rocking over it? Who's going to make the fucking big hit on their seven? Get him out of the way. The next man's going to fucking have a look. If he doesn't need to ruck, he's going to pick. If the ball's there on a plate for me, I'll need the runners outside me. Get it in your fucking mind. If this goes over, remember it's 22 10 at half time. Ooh. Bad miss. Bad miss. Rog to take over the kick and get it on. Over. Rog to kick it. Get Rog to kick it. Over. He wants another bite at the cherry. Thank you so 
22-10 down at half time. We're in the shit. We're, we're down behind the eight ball. And to get up from there, you can look at yourselves in the bloody mirror and feel bloody proud. Good job, boys. been absolutely superb. Well done. Well done. Well done. Did I have to bite my tongue there? I'm not absolutely getting the boot into Barnsley there. <laughs> I just know what he was saying. I missed those two kicks. I know what he was saying. The best thing for me was I scored the first try and I was turning around and asking the ref, you know, can I run? And the big second row ran through and like bounced me and said, it's only one try, you prick, you're still losing. So anyway, after I got over for the second try, he came up and bumped me again and I said, well, it's not one try anymore, mate, it's two and you've lost. And then he, he went a little bit ballistic and unfortunately Jeremy Davidson arrived to help me out. The message came on for Rodgers to kick and fair play, Rodgers said, no, Dawes, go for it. Well, it was about 40 yards out and he said, no, go for it, you do it, you do it. And that gave me a real big boost and that, that slotted straight down the middle. And I was just I was in a the groove then, I was just like boom, boom, boom. And it was one of the, the most important things I've ever done in, yeah, in, my, in my rugby life, probably in, in, in all of my life, because it affected, it affected the people that I love and I know and the players around me and, and the squad around me. And I know that I upset them and I had one chance to do it. And so looking at it, I'll probably look back and think there's, there was no other way to, you know, I could have, you know, I could have stood up in front of the boys, I could have stood up with individuals, but there was no way, and I don't think, repaying what damage you've done. Um, been out on the rugby field and whether that was playing or kicking, I hope I did it today. I'm bored. Where the coaches' boxes are here. Huh? 
That's where the currency boxes are here, which yeah. are right on the... That doesn't worry me. Yeah, which are the monitors are there anyway. We've got this change room area as well. This is the main change area, is it? Yep, and you've also got, you'll also have the other side. Yeah. That's better than, uh, that's better than the Gabba. Dressing room wise, but that would be difficult. Uh, it is fine. Now, whether we choose to warm up here or not, or on the field, uh, at least we've more room to warm up here if we need to. Uh, my preference would be the field. Why well, go down? That's the problem. And, and yeah, well, we'll go out in the dark if we have to. The only trouble you'll have is that there's pyros set up and then there's sound all around the field again, so we're limited and there's groups of yeah, but, but 200 people we, we, coming on. We raised this last Saturday, we oh. raised it Monday, we raised it Tuesday. Sure. So that they are aware that of we've been aware that we've had the entertainment. But nobody's come back to me or nobody's said anything to me. Not a bad view, is it? 80 minutes of sheer bliss again. And no agony. And your knees lock in one position and you can't move. This is hugely important, guys. This is the big one. Again. <laughs> That's toadfish, isn't it? Yeah. Toadfish. 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 And that's. Um, what one did you say that was? Libby. <laughs> Jeez, he looks like a toad. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you have to do your complexion. What? Get Come on. Have a go on. No, no, no. <laughs> if, if, no, no. If, I don't if want to let, let, let this, let one of the I don't want to your show. Let one of the professionals on it. There's a, there's a bit of a reflection whenever you go on, Ma. I know, yeah, but I'm not, I'm, not going on, I'm not going on, Jess. It's absolutely amazing, this, isn't it? It's just fantastic. I used to watch Neighbours when I was six. To be honest, it was pretty shit. <laughs> I'm only here to see uh, Lou <laughs> and Toadfish. <laughs> You don't think by shutting the Allen's out now, you might be making things more difficult? In the short term, maybe. But you know what they say, no pain, no gain. Oh, no, you're totally appropriate under these circumstances. I mean, they're not going to go away, are they? Perhaps you misunderstood. She told me she cannot have any children and that Lolly is their only chance of happiness. I did not misunderstand anything, mate. First time I've ever seen uh, a scene like this. I thought we'd be going to Ramsey Street and it, all the filming was down there, but that's how naive I am, I suppose. <laughs> and you, and you. Yes, me. How are you? What's he? Who's he? How are you? Nice to meet you. Good afternoon. You know I don't wish you all the best, you know that, don't you? <laughs> Hi. Good. I'm trying to be some Salvation Army uniform. <laughs> I'm Jackie. Hi. Oh, I'm Mal. How's it going? Hi, how are you? Pleasure. How are you doing? Hello. Hi, I'm Tyrone. Hi, Tyrone. Are, are, are you from Ireland? Yes. Oh, so am I, originally. Are you? Yeah, Belfast. Really? Well, Kate Fergus. You're from Fergus? Well, he's not. Yeah. Where are you from? 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 I live near Stormont. All right, yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, I've been living in France for the past few yeah. years. So yeah. I'm in the Colonial Stadium. Oh, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. It's a controversial stadium. Ground's very nice hard, apparently. All right. Yeah. Well, it won't be too hard for us. We're sitting in the stand. <laughs>
Did you know Alex used to be in Neighbours? Yes, he was just telling us. Did he? Yeah. Right. It, but that it, was his favourite lineage, yeah, but it was a long, long time ago. A long time ago, 13 years ago, when Neighbours was not even shot here. It was actually shot on Channel 7, and they did some exteriors, I think, on the old street, and they shot at the Channel 7 studios. I did have a small part in Neighbours for a short time, and I played a character called Brad, who supposedly was a butcher, and uh, I did have a couple of scenes with Kylie Minogue, but it was a long, long time ago. She was like 18 years old, and it was all in the distant, distant past. I'm sure she doesn't even remember. Oh, my God. God. Come for the photo. <laughs> Shane, do you want to come to him? <laughs> get closer. Mal, Mal, can I get on your shoulder? Right. Just go inside. <laughs> <laughs> <Can I get? laughs> oh, no. <laughs> 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 Don't get cornered by him. He will bore you to death. I was, uh, I was the butcher, you know. Um, <laughs> I was at your neighbour's block about 13 years ago. I was on that. I was still on Channel 7. Oh, really? Oh, God. Oh, God. We're going to have the bracket, aren't we? We're going to have to pick 23 or 24 guys because there's different options there. Grenades. Grenades on the 20, 22. Yeah, but then we're bringing somebody in at the last minute, aren't we? Yeah, but the, the, we know that. Yeah. But the players, the players know that. The players need to know that. I think we're better at name 24, aren't we? Two to me to, to be admitted or something like that. Let's get on with it. Where's, where's Tom? Just go up the stairs. Now, just in relation to the bench, uh, Jason has a slight uh, calf strain. Uh, Martin Williams just hurt his shoulder the other night and Aston has a bang on the thigh. If anything were to happen to them in the next 48 hours, Darren Morris comes in for Jason, uh, David Wallace comes in for Martin, and Neil Jenkins comes in for Aston. Okay? So they're the three guys uh, who are immediately on standby. Everybody's meeting tomorrow, everybody's training, and everybody has to prepare for this test as if you're in the 22. I'm going to be a goal kicker this time next year. Oh, yeah? You're going to practice? Yeah. I'll be happy if you just practice your dropouts. My oh, dropouts are good, mate. Oh, yeah. Flat. Yeah, just give us a bit more of a chance of winning it back. Well, you practice. fucking chase properly, so they're standing there going. I wish I hadn't had that listen, fucking donner last night. Listen, I don't chase, I'll bend over fucking and push hell. you. Fucking hell, Skin, you run at this, or I'm end. fucked. <laughs> I'm fucked, Skin. <laughs> I'll bend over and then, push. Then, then he, the kick that moves like that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I've got to run like that, Rob. I'd have to kick first. it higher than the stand for you to be able to run <laughs> ten metres. <laughs> It's a different sight, gentlemen. The sight for Saturday in Brisbane was a fear factor sight, an underdog sight. We were angry about how we were being treated. We were angry about how Rog was treated in Sydney. We were angry about a number of things leading to that game. We were on the edge. The sight now is, are we good enough to be number one? Listen to me. It's a totally different sight. We have not done it before. None of us have done it before. They've had plenty of experience in doing it. They want to maintain it. And so if you want to be number one, I'm sure we all want to be number one, we have got to be fucking absolutely magnificent. Huge, psychologically. Better than we've ever been before. You cannot rely on the underdog factor anymore. We've all, en all enjoyed that. We've all had great wins on it. But that's down out the window, fellas. This is about being the best in the world. We stay strong throughout the whole game. We communicate. Tomorrow needs this. Tomorrow, we need winners 
on that pitch. These guys are shitting themselves, lads. They're worried. They don't know where they are. And they've done everything to make sure that we're upset. They've picked on the wrong group of guys. They are apprehensive. They are concerned. They're brittle. They're starting to fall apart. We have got to continue that process. If they start well, we're in for a shit of a game. In the history of the Lions, the Lions is over 125 years old. And in all that time, once ever have the Lions achieved back-to-back -back test series. Once ever. 1971 and 1974. And when you talk about the Lions and the great names of the Lions, by a strange coincidence, you get J.P.R. Williams, Gareth Edwards, Willie John McBride, Gordon Brown, Mervyn Davies. Those guys played 71. They also played 74. There's no camouflage, there's no hiding. We said to ourselves as a group of people, we wanted to be the number one rugby team in the world. This is the reality, isn't it? There's a lot of people in this room were in Durban this day four years ago. Nobody expected the Lions to win, except the Lions. And tonight, guys, is no fucking different. Robo, hold on. Right, 
Right. Well, he just catches Hill with a glancing blow. The intent was certainly there. Now that's bad. That's bad. Okay. We need Hilly. We need Hilly, Doc. Come on, Doc. Get into him. Yeah, that's okay. Such a nice. Give yourself a minute. We've got five points to show for the half time. If that's what they've got after fucking being stung all week, what the fuck was that for mess? Okay? We've blitzed them and we should have had a few more tries, but we haven't. Let's play possession. <coughs> in that tackle situation, chucking the ball away on the floor, rolling it back, is not anything we've practiced. Look after it, place it, keep your hand on it till we win it. Okay? They're snooping around and having a dabble. Look after the pill. It's not your fault, yeah, if they get there. Don't try and force it. The boys will clean out. Stay out of the tackle, guys. You know, we're going to ground too quickly. Stay up in the tackle and look after the bloody ball. Now we're trying to pop off passes which are not on. We've played all the fucking rugby and we've blown three or four chances when we're down to 22. So we're just going to stay up and look after the pill, all right? The one thing to say, boys, remember this stage last week, Everyone was here, we got a little bit of a lead at half time, everyone's feeling a little bit flat. We went out at the start of the second half after talking in here, saying we need to hit the pitch twice as good, twice as quick, twice as hard as we did in the first half. We're at that stage again, except this time the series is fucking on it, eh? Come on, boys. Come on. Is it asking for too much that the Lions get a dream start to this period, just like they did in the first test? Howley thinks not. Wood makes inroads. Hold it, hold it, back, back. He makes motorways. But then Wilkinson gives it to Joe Ruff. Joe Ruff for the corner. Don't really remember how it happened though. No, I've obviously got a bash on the side of my face which I can feel. But unfortunately, I'm not out there second half. And this is a crucial part of the series, guys. What are we doing here? Jenks needs to be warmed up, over. Stay still, John. What is it, Doc, please? Need a stretcher. Yeah. Stretcher. OK. It's all in there. Yeah. That's where it's been hit. Yeah. Johnny, I'm just going to press on the board, OK? Yeah. Pull your toes up. Any pain there? Yeah. Where? Just at the back of the calf. Of the calf. Relax down. Achilles is OK. Good muscle mass. And a positive test. Yeah. Right, just a stun, John, OK? Get some ice on it. Come on! 
Frank, Frank, Frank. Go, go. Yes, James. And now Howley has gone down. What's up, Rob? Ribs. Ribs. Same place. Yeah, same place. James, let's get him off. Over. That's it. It's one all as we go to Sydney. The one thing we have to take from today is we panicked. Just a little bit, but enough to put us off the fucking boil, not to do the things we did last week, not to do the things we've done in training. And we just let them have the fucking the impetus. We gave it to them a little. Are you, as a player, as an individual, good enough to focus for seven days to come out in the biggest game of our life next Saturday and to win? And that's a big fucking question. It's a really big fucking... The biggest question you can ask yourself. Because if you've any self-doubt when we step on the pitch on Saturday, we're lost. For ten minutes, we put our head down. We stop believing. In that ten minutes, we lost the match. And I'd be selfish and say, how big are you as an individual to change it in seven days? That is what the seven days is for. After that, lads, we can put our feet up for six fucking months. You have to ask the question of yourself. Wilkinson's x-ray of his lower leg, left lower leg, Brian O'Driscoll neck, Richard Hill, CT scan of brain, make sure there's nothing going on. He's out for three weeks. Rob Howley's ribs. Yeah, same place. I don't think you'll get him back recovered in a week. So they're the four going to hospital? Yeah. Mm. That's it. Brian O'Driscoll's got a dead leg, Will Greenwood's still recovering from his ankle, Rob Henderson's got an injury with his knee, Scott Gibbs has got a bad back, Neil Jenkins has got a problem with his knee, Johnny Wilkinson we know about, Rob Howell is out with his broken rib, Austin Healy's just recovering from a dead leg, Scott Connell's got a problem with his knee, Richard Hill's out with his concussion, Neil Back's got a problem with a dead leg, and dead legs are epidemic at the moment, I think it's a viral rather than a a material problem. Uh, Jerry Davidson's got a problem with his shoulder. Scott Murray's just coming back from rib injury. Danny Krukok strained his knee. Di Young's got a problem with his Achilles. Keith Wood has just got everything um, because he just tries so hard and lays his body on the line and he needs uh, total body therapy today. And those are the ones that I know about. It's, uh, it's, it's not broken or fractured. It's just... Uh just got to wait 48 hours and find out how bad it is. But it feels, yeah, it's getting better all the time. And it's quite a frightening sight to see a cast on it. Yeah, no, I think, that, like I say, just very much uh, procedure and good procedure at that, just making sure everything's sort of as good as it can be. But I think uh, I've been told I've got to keep it sort of well elevated for the next 48 hours, so I'm, I'm not really going to be moving from here. Obviously disappointed, you know, the series at one all. Uh... But in '97, I wasn't able to play a test game. At least, you know, the positive thing I played in two tests. But uh, I'm just, you know, looking forward to, forward to support the boys now next week. And fingers crossed, Johnny makes it with his uh, leg. Obviously, took a bang to the head yesterday, so concussed. Um, so that's in the my tour as well. I don't think you boys ought to take too much Michael out of me until you have your own head scanned. You might find you've got a thick skull under there yourselves, you know? You haven't told the, told the cabinet yet. Uh, on, the, the average, apparently the average skull is one centimetre thick. Um, and my scan showed mine's about two centimetres, so... I've obviously got a big head with that frame. <laughs> to keep that brain intact. <laughs> Real disappointing thing is for us is we left their front five stay in the match for more than 25 minutes by not chasing them in the scrum. We've talked it through with you about the scrum. Yeah. yeah we, we, we laid on the line, Graham laid on the line on Saturday, we laid on the line on Friday. 
the scrum is the important part of this, you know, of us winning the game to stop their back row play. And we go to scrum and we're complacent. I think we need to be have a shorter but intense. Yeah. And I don't think we need to spend a huge amount of time on it as long as we know what we're doing. We make certain that we have the mental side at 100%. Mm -hmm. Because we're not now training at 100% contact. Which is right, I agree. Mm. We need to be fucking over, over, right over the top on Saturday. You know, we're over the top mentally, right up there, as high as we can be. We'll beat these bastards. We're a better rugby side. We've got no doubt about that. Yeah. We're a better rugby side. One of the things that I wanted to talk about was the whole situation of the hotel before we left. And for me, it was a coach. It was too motivational. The, the combination of Donald's talk yeah. and all those spectators walking out, I was in bloody tears. And I'm not sure if I would have been in a position to play, and I just wondered if it got through to some players too much. Right. And Phil never got out of first gear. We've gone through a hell of a lot of pain on this tour. A lot of guys injured. Anton, Hilly on Saturday getting out of the test match through foul play. All those sort of things. We've got to win this game. I hope in this game, this bloody seven weeks has been a fucking waste of time as far as I'm concerned. We've been on the rugby environment, on the, on the training field, and all the different drills we do for agility and speed, and uh, progressing our skills, our unit skills, and our collective skills for the game. We need to get out of that a little bit. They can come to a gym, they can go to back home um, for relaxation purposes as well as training and get a lot out of it. Oh, thank you very much, sir. Five. Oh, thank you very much, sir. Six. <laughs> All right. This weekend, we know in our heart of hearts that uh, we've got it in us. We've just got to pull out you know, the biggest performance of our lives. And uh, I'm very confident we'll do it. We have previously laid off the first two days after the test because there's so many bruised bodies and a long season. But tomorrow's Tuesday and then we're going to start again and we're going to peak Really quickly, I think. It will not be right unless this team beats Australia Saturday. We're a better team. If we do it right, we'll do the business. To me, this is the, um, the most important game I've ever been involved in in my life. I don't want to go out, out of here unless we win. I'd either disappear in the, in the forest of Western Australia somewhere for the <laughs> next 20 years. Um, I think you know what I'm talking about. We're doing kick chase, do you? But what kicking are we doing with you? I'm going to go over there with all just the back. No, I'm over there. With the forwards in line. Do you want to stay on this pitch? No. There's no talk, no communication. I've never seen anybody so flat. Two things on the scrum. On our ball, what channel are you hitting him on with our ball? Now, why don't you look at going to? Because it, to be honest, it makes fuck all different. And if I always go into one, they don't know what's happening. If you went into two and across to one, you don't think we will get the hit and we we'll get a really. Hitting at the back and make any difference. Yeah, you big man. At least you were the two second rows just to get them. Yeah, but I it makes fuck all different. Ninety-four, right? We won one scrum against the head against France. And I was standing, left hand side defending. It's all in the fucking head with him, isn't it? Hey? It makes no difference. Yeah, we need you in a mindset you're in a fucking scrummage. Oh, yeah. On their ball, they're always scrummage. They're always hitting everyone. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Graham, you've got much left to go. I'm just starting to see him limp a little. Right, seriously, last couple of minutes. Yeah? Sorry, John, but we have three days left, man. I would pick you every time, Hendo. I think having breakfast in bed is not a prerequisite to being deselected. <laughs> What's going on here? Thank you. Yeah. Right, you keep that ball. Keep the ball. Thank you. Well done. Little bugger. Thank you, man. Okay. Take this fucking flag down, though. It's my flag. <laughs> I would say, on the basis of yesterday being Will Greenwood's fitness test has failed at uh, Graham, and it is leaden footed today. Oh, no. I think you. So would Greenwood's be... out? Yeah. The uh, Driscoll's recovering. I guess it'll be okay. Yeah. These things can really uh, improve, you know, 40, 50% in, in 24 hours. So I'm very hopeful that um, it'll be all right for the game Saturday night. It'll make it a lot more sweet if we do win because um, the will's really in trouble. Uh, Oz is, and, and with Howlers and, and Hilly gone now, and the others that would have been test uh, candidates already gone from the tour, you know, we've certainly had our fair share of injuries. So. Um, if we do win, it'll be extremely satisfying. But you need ice, rest, massage, ultrasound, no wandering around the town. Everything that takes spasm away. I'm the fucking magician, you're the fucking big fucker who runs it up, all right? <laughs> you keep fucking banging it up, I'll do the magic. <laughs> Oh, I don't want you to stand there. I normally stand there. Is it because you can't comprehend someone else stood in your position? It's not the British and Irish Lions with Austin, supporting Austin Healy. That's where you're wrong. I guess when you guys are my age, and you're talking to your kids and maybe grandkids, like tomorrow night's going to be something that you'll talk about. It's a defining moment in a career, in a lifetime. <coughs> There'll be other, obviously, very important things in your life, but this will be one of them. And because everything's so cluttered and, and it's been a long season and so on, you're probably not thinking that way at the moment. But you will. You will, you know. And you'll, there'll be ten things or five things you'll put on a piece of paper about your rugby career. It might be 60, 80 test matches, but there'll be some key times. And this will be one of them. We are good enough. There is no bloody doubt in my mind we can smash these buggers. We have been playing rugby for a long time. There's no out on that. It's a reality. We are probably a bit fucked. And I can understand that too. But we get one opportunity to do it right, don't we? One opportunity tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. We need your eyes. Yeah, no, mate. I want to play. I didn't fucking come here to watch. So. I, I, I think you're playing superbly at the moment, and you know, if you can just get round this, uh, you can spark us. Go in here. Charlie over there. What are you coming in now? We're talking about haircuts. You know what I mean? It's private. Well, what we could do is give you something totally illegal, render you pain free. We win the test because you play superbly well, and then you get banned for two years. Two year holiday. <laughs> a um, Mexican hot, but swap the pepperoni for ham, a garlic bread, and a bottle of Jesus. coke. Thanks for coming. Oh, ah! <laughs> I think it was a little bit leggish. <laughs> oh, Yeah. 
I was lying in bed thinking. Yeah, it's probably gone. Sorry, I was, I was hoping you would wake up brand new this morning. Where are you from yourself? We come down and we just come a little bit off centre. This is out towards the right side. See that little bulge in the white? Yeah. It, it should be a lovely smooth line. Yeah, we can still go on holiday and I've got a bulge in this on my back. It just means that I need rest for about six weeks or so. So you're, you're going to have to carry all the suitcases. Four years ago I didn't get a chance to start because Dorse was shagging each. And, uh, I didn't get a chance to start in the second task because I had a dead leg. And then this, uh, obviously I wasn't meant to play for the Lions. We're just going to have to keep yourself fit. Keep yourself young. Yeah, I'll be 30 on the next tour. Wow, well, plenty of 30 year olds. Knocking them out. You'll still be the best utility player. <laughs> oh, fuck off. Utility. Hello, James Robson. Sorry, Graham, I was trying to get back through to you. He's got um, a small disc protrusion, basically, a, a piece of his uh, disc is pressing on that nerve. There's no way of him playing, I'm afraid. Yeah. Could even give you some information what people do. Yeah, so for the last 10 minutes, you say, right, it would mean you could do something. I was up the Harbour Bridge last night, and then uh, he called me this morning, and uh, here I am. How do you feel? Oh, delighted. All a bit confused with all these, all these bits of paper and the uh, moves that have come in, but oh, delighted. I mean, it's, it doesn't matter if you're here for a day or uh, the six weeks playing for the British Lions is, is everything, and uh, I'm delighted to be able to do it. Well, I know he was in town because I met him in the hotel about two or three days ago. Um, didn't envisage he'd be involved in the, in the final test. Of us, uh, Friday we discussed a contingency in the event of Aston being unavailable because we're, we've run out of scrum halves with uh, Rob Howley's injury as well. Uh, thankfully Andy has been training away, he's in good shape and uh, in fact he was, I think he was preparing to walk the Harbour Bridge at night time which was great because uh, you have to be alcohol free for at least 24 hours. Uh, so that was a positive given the background of, of all the injuries during the week. And you know this right up to the morning of the game. Uh, you know it'll be one of the great Test victories, you know, if we pull this thing off, which I think we're more than capable of doing. And I have to cut them every game because the rip nail, <laughs> let me tell you, it's the worst injury you can have. Think about family, friends and things that make me happy. Uh, always cut my nails before the game, have my ankles taped first, have a massage and just generally relax, make sure I'm hydrated and go on the pitch very confident. We're the same today. <laughs> this is going to be a very special game, great occasion. I'd like to thank Austin Hill for his kind words today. <laughs> I was out of my control straight away because I didn't say it. I'm still responsible to the fact that it was my column. Uh, normally I, I would check all the columns, but unfortunately for me I had a uh, bulging disc in my back. But my name's on the column, I'm responsible for it, but I should have checked it. I always think you never give the opposition the team talk. Uh, that's been done. I think Austin thought that he might uh, upset them a wee bit and take their mind off the game, but I don't think he knows the Australian animal very well. You're in the home of sport in Australia. You're in their backyard. You know they see themselves as superior sports-wise to everything and everyone in every sport. And yet we have an opportunity in their backyard, in their symbol around the world, to change that. It'll hurt inside, 
and it has to hurt because you get nothing for nothing in this world. But you're the only ones, boys, who can make it count. And you're the guys who can make it special. So just get out and do it. Boys, big hearts, cool heads, thinking all the time. Put your bodies on the fucking line. Put your mind on the fucking line. There's nothing else after this. When that whistle's gone at the end, there is nothing fucking else. Everyone, fucking ten feet tall. This is the end, there's nothing else after this. This is the only reason we're fucking living. Just for this, just for this next couple of hours, to take away the feeling. This is it. Think about the people that fucking love you, that are away from here, and how proud they are now. Keep it with you till you come off that feet. Stand your fucking tall. But we have the chance. This is our fucking chance. They're arrogant. They think they're going to win. Eels is smart. My guys. They think they're going to win. Come on, pick it up. Come on, take him down. Come on, fucking British Lions, Lions, fellas. Come on, you fucking Lions. and getting in there and that's what he does so well what a start for harrison to international rugby Wilkinson, Henderson. John, I look alive, son. Good. Good. Yes. Four minutes to half time, Paul. Number eight! 
nothing to show for that attack, and they needed it. You've got to talk. You've got to talk it up defensively. Forwards and backs. They don't break us. And then we take the game for them. When they've got the ball, like we did in the last three minutes. And then we've got the bloody chance, haven't we? All right? But we've got to show a huge amount of character. Is it here? Is that character here? Okay, well, we've got to show it, eh? We can take these bastards out. But we need a lot of character. And guys, have some fucking discipline. There's far too many penalties. Brian O'Driscoll, penalty. Scott Pennell, penalty. You can't get away fucking penalties to be the world champions. We need to up it. We're not working hard enough. We're not covering. That driver's fucking shite. Three or four of us there, and we let them come through the middle of us and then go blind. Stop them. Get on the fucking ball. Sacrifice your body in the middle of the rug. Don't give away the penalty, and we can defend. Out there, me and Hendo are fucking horse. Encourage each other. When someone does not well, fucking get up his arse. The British Lions character in the state, whether you got the fucking guts or not. One and a half. Australia don't think you have. Are you going to fucking bend, or are you going to score first, then second in this half? We've got to score first, then second, and blitz them. Boys, Robbo's called the talk. Big shot, let's go! Looking for width here. You know, we'll just fucking knock it on and take the penalty. Yes, lovely. Just take your time. Ah, oh, it's too much. Still, what, 20 minutes to go? 20 minutes to go. Oh, all comes on to this. Yes, yes. Was there some pushing? There was. Penalty Australia. Yeah, Bolsh and Gavin's place, eh? 
just have to take the risk, eh? Yeah. Ball shoe. We're getting on. Let's go for it now. Let's do it now. Oh, God. Let's do it now. Let's make the sub now. One ball show for Daffy. Hold on. On for Daffy. As soon as you won. This is Gregan and Herbert. Oh, Colin. He's got it. Colin's got it. Oh! So he's got to go for five. Close enough. <laughs> this is the moment. to go and thank the fans. Come on. I'll try it. Well done, Dos. I'll try it.
and the enthusiasm and everything you could want was there. Just didn't take our chances. Uh, a line out near the end and uh, our execution was poor. Uh, very close game, could have gone either way and uh, unfortunately we're on the wrong end of it this time. Guys, I know it's, it's very hard to talk, it's very hard to take anything in a, you know, in a situation like this. All I can say, from my point of view, I just want to thank everybody. You couldn't have given any more tonight. It was a very difficult week with the injuries we had, very, even up to this morning, and I didn't have to come in. Now, if any team showed character under those circumstances, you did. It's hard to take. We have no fucking choice. We keep our heads high. You've been an outstanding group. I know it hasn't been the easiest tour of all time. That's, that's what it's like when you tour a country like this. I know there's guys leaving tonight on holidays or tomorrow morning, so we might not get a chance as a group to be together again. But I just sincerely want to thank everyone. Jano, the management, everyone. You couldn't have done any more, boys. And I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart, everyone. Cheers.